rid of the filibuster has long-term consequences. If there's one thing I've learned in my years here, once you change the rules and surrender the Senate's institutional power, you never get it back. And we're about to break the rules to change the rules. I don't want to hear about fair play from my friends. Under our rules, you're required to get a two-thirds vote. I mean, excuse me, 60 votes to change the rules. Watch what happens. Watch what happens when the majority leader stands up and says to the vice president, if we go forward with this, and he calls the question. And one of us, I expect our leader, will, the Democratic side, will stand up and say, parliamentary inquiry, Mr. President, is this parliamentarily appropriate? And in every other case since I've been here for 32 years, the presiding officer leans down to the parliamentarian and says, what's the rule, Mr. Parliamentarian? The parliamentarian turns and tells him, hold your breath, parliamentarian. He's not going to look to you because he knows what you would say. He would say this is not parliamentarily appropriate. You can not change the Senate rules by a pure majority vote. So if any of you think I'm exaggerating, watch on television. Watch when this happens. And watch the vice president. Ignore. He's not required to look to an unelected officer. But that has been the practice for 218 years. He will not look down and say, what is the ruling? He will make the ruling, which is a lie, a lie about the rules.